We take a small ear biopsy, a little sliver from the edge of their ear, typically stored in some sort of preservative that preserves the DNA. Because we're trying to preserve the genetic diversity that's living in populations today, we now use techniques that preserve the living cells, and then we've been able to grow them in our facility at Melbourne Museum. That little bit of ear contains skin cells, and we bring that back and take a little piece of that and score it into a petri dish with a cell culture medium, a medium that those cells love to eat with all the food and nutrients they need to grow. And then over a matter of a week to four weeks, they grow in a low oxygen incubator. So once we've grown the cells to sufficient quantities, many millions of cells, we can sample them and then store them. We put them into one of our cryotubes and then slow cool them down to liquid nitrogen temperature. That's minus 196 degrees Celsius. At that temperature, they're basically cryopreserved alive in stasis.